Hey everyone, Terry White here, and this one's for my Lightroom Classic users, and it's really for when you did a shoot, and you have multiple shots from the same scene, but you're trying to pick your favorite one. So it's, it's much easier to do it when you understand the various views that you have in Lightroom Classic. So let's go ahead and take a look. So for example, I've got these graduation shots here, um, and I, I love the motion, I love the action, but I can't decide which one's my favorite one. Maybe it's this first one, maybe it's this one, I don't know. So we're used to looking at you know, a single image in loop view by like hitting the letter E for loop view. <laughs> and then we can of course hit the letter G to get back to the grid. You can also go full screen by hitting the letter F, and a lot of people will just you know go back and forth between the shots, but that could take a lot of time because you, 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 once you go back, or once you go forward two or three shots, then it's hard to get back to remember, okay, which one did I like and which one was I comparing it to? And that brings me to other views. There are other ways to do this so that it is easier for you to narrow it down. Now, it's, there's two really to pick from, and you can use either one, you can use them both together. It depends on which, one, which way you like to do it. There's a compare view which shows them side by side. And that way you can quickly get through and keep narrowing it down to your favorite. And then there's a survey view which shows multiple selected images all at the same time. So let's look, take a look at each one. So I, I have the um, first photo selected and I'm just gonna hit the letter C. And even though I only had one photo selected, it automatically went into compare mode and it took the photo that I had selected and made it the current select. Then it took the one right next to it and made it the candidate. And by the way, as a side tip, you know, right now we don't really need the panels. So you can just hit the tab key to kind of get rid of the panels and give yourself more room when you're looking. So right now, because this is my select, this was the first one I selected, the one right next to it is a candidate and I don't like the candidate as much as I like the current select. So I can just hit my arrow keys or I can just click the arrow on screen to go to the next photo. And I can say, okay, do I like this one better than this one? And the answer is still no. So I can go to the next photo. Okay, I kind of like this one, but I don't like the way his hand's cut off in this one. That, the cap is covering his hand. So I can go to the next one. Okay, I like the action here. This is kind of cool. I like the front of these better, so maybe I don't like it as much uh, this one as much as the other ones. And then I can keep going, and I'm, I'm going to have to pick one at some point to show you guys what's next. Okay, so let's say this is now my new favorite. So I can do one of two things if this is my new favorite. I can either swap them, so this basically just makes the candidate the select and the select the candidate, that just swaps them, or I can, uh, let me undo that, and I can say, let me just um, make, make this one the select. In other words, I don't need to swap them because I've already decided that this one I like better. So once I swap it, then it automatically goes to the next shot. So this becomes my candidate, this becomes my new, uh, I'm sorry, this becomes my select, this becomes my new candidate, and then I can just keep going. So you can use either one of these buttons down here in the bottom right to either swap or make candidate, and it will just uh, do what you just told it to do until you find the one you like. So obviously this is the one I like best, so I can go ahead and click on it, and I can go ahead and mark it as a pick. I can go ahead and mark it at five stars. I can do whatever I wanna do so that when I get out of this, I'll know that that was the one I picked. So my select is my select, my candidate's my candidate. You can toggle back and forth between the windows. And even if you wanna give it a color label, you can hit the number for your color label. In this case, I hit the number eight for green and that makes it green, five stars and a pick. So now when I get out of that, that particular one is green, five stars, and a pick. And of course I can hit my tab key again to get back to my panels. Now that was compare mode, now let's take a look at survey. Well how does survey differ? Instead of, sur instead of selecting one photo and bringing them up side by side, you literally select them all. Select all the ones you're thinking about and you can go to survey mode. The quickest way to get to survey is hitting the letter in. So just like we hit C for compare, we're gonna hit the letter in for survey. And again, we're gonna hit tab to get rid of the um, get rid of the panels. Now, the thing I like about this is it does show you as many photos as you select at one time. So if you select three, they're gonna be bigger. If you select 20, they're gonna be smaller. But then what you can say is, okay, well, this one's obviously not gonna be a good one. This hat's okay, but this one's completely blocking the subject. So I can hit the letter 
I can hit this X, it doesn't get rid of it, it doesn't delete it, it just takes it out of the running for my, uh, for my survey. So I can just get rid of it, and it's still there, still in Lightroom, I didn't delete it, I didn't mark it as a reject, I didn't do anything, I'm just saying, I don't like that one as much. Okay, same thing here, I don't like her hand blocking her face as much on this one. So maybe I get rid of this, and as you can see, as you narrow them down, they get bigger. So you get rewarded for being decisive, for narrowing them down. Now I kind of like these two, and I kind of like, I don't like this one as much because it just looks like he's, he's handing her a hat while he's looking at the other one. Let's get rid of those. And yeah, nah, I don't like the tassel looking at her, going into her face on that one. Let's get rid of that one. And we can quickly narrow them down to the ones we like. So I don't like this one. Again, blocking his hand. So I'm going to get rid of that one. Again, getting rid of it out of the mode, not getting rid of the photo. And I'm not as crazy about this one. So I can narrow that one down. And you don't, you know, there's no certain number you have to get down to. It's whatever you want. So if you're trying to pick one, then that is your number you're trying to get down to. You're trying to pick your favorites, then your favorites are how many other favorites you have. So in this case, my favorites might be these two. These are my favorites. So I've already selected this one and made it five stars and a pick, you know, green and a pick flag last time. And I can do the same things here. I can make this one a pick, make it five stars by hitting the number five. There we go. And I can also make this one green by um, hitting the number eight. So that way I've now, I've now got my two favorite shots from the scene using two different modes. So whether it's um, the viewing mode of compare, hitting the letter C with one or more photos selected, usually one, or hitting survey with multiple photos selected by hitting the letter N as in Nancy or November um, on your keyboard and that will take you into uh, the survey mode which we were just in. And of course hitting the letter G will always take us back, hitting the tab key will always bring back our panels and whatever selections you made, whatever pick, stars or color labels you did will be applied to those photos that you um, you left off with. And also in survey, the photos will come back. Oh, let me do this again. The photos will come back selected. So that way you can quickly uh, add them to a collection, target collection, or drag them somewhere or print them or whatever it is you're trying to do. All right, so with that said, hopefully that will help you cull down and pick between your favorites faster than you were doing before. Cheers, everyone. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.